Good afternoon. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make spinach cake. I'm going to start off by showing you the ingredients for the actual cake. You need four medium-sized eggs, one cup of regular sugar, three quarters of a cup of oil, two and a half cups of flour. This is the one that I'm using in specific. Two flat teaspoons of baking powder and half a teaspoon of baking soda. A touch of vanilla extract or essence. And lastly, 250 grams of fresh spinach. Place the spinach little by little into the blender and blend. It should look some like this when it's finished. If your blender does struggle though, add a bit of the oil. In your bowl of flour, add the baking soda and baking powder and mix. Then in a separate bowl, add the four eggs and beat the eggs until they are firm. Now start adding the remainder of the oil little by little and mixing it with a spoon. You should add the vanilla essence at this point as well. This step is the last step for making the cake. Add the spinach into the mixture, constantly mixing it. Now add the contents of the flour bowl, constantly mixing until you reach a point when it's all firm. Get a baking tray that's roughly 26 centimeters in circumference, smear it with some butter and then add a sprinkle of flour so that the cake does not stick to it. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees, heating from both top and bottom. This cake is going to be in the oven for exactly one hour. While the actual cake is in the oven, I'm going to prepare the cake cream right now and just show you how to do it really quickly. Place the lemon into a large cup of boiling water and let that sit there until the water cools. Get another cup, put a black tea bag in there and fill it about halfway up with warm water. Now for the ingredients to make up the cream on top. Measure four teaspoons of gelatin, put these into a pot and add seven spoons of water. Heat this mixture up, constantly mixing until it melts. Then you're going to need 500 milliliters of regular double cream and three tablespoons of icing sugar. Whisk these two together until they start to thicken. Add in the still warm gelatin mixture. Continue to whisk until it's super glossy. The purpose of gelatin is to make the whole cream mass kind of thicken up and be harder and firmer. This is great, especially when you put the cake in the fridge. It's gonna be super dense and really rich in texture. Squeeze the entire lemon and pour three tablespoons of the lemon juice into the teacup. Lastly, add two teaspoons of icing sugar and let that sit there. With this tea mixture that my mum calls punch, we're going to soak the actual cake so it's nice and moist in flavour. Slice the cake three quarters of the way up. Soak entirely with the tea mixture. Cover with cream. Crumble the top quarter of the cake and just sprinkle it on top. If you want a shortcut to this amazing spinach cake, you can always just buy one of these mixtures. With these mixtures, you don't need to do a lot of work to make the cake. You just need three eggs, a bit of water, a bit of oil, and a bit of cream. That's it. Anyways, if you'd like to find out what gear I use, or keep updated on my Instagram. All the links are down below. Thank you for watching.